I went into 2023 thinking that I cannot go beyond five hours and 55 minutes and a 70.3. I went into the season thinking that once you achieve these times, once you achieve these milestones of a sub six hours, for example, for the half Ironman, there's no way I'm ever gonna run anything that is slower than that again. And pretty soon I was taught wrong. And then this year I went over six hours in both of the Ironmans that I did. And that is really what opened my eyes that this whole, not just triathlon, but endurance sport in general, it's not a given that once you unlock a time, you will now go even faster and even faster. You will have bad races and you will have maybe a bad season and you will set a personal best and then the next time you will be even worse <laughs> than you were before. And there's a lot around it. So let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Thank you for being here, I appreciate it. My name is Luke, if we haven't met before, and on this channel, we're talking all about endurance sports. I am getting into endurance sports. I've been doing it now for about two years, and on this channel, I wanna share with you the way that I learn endurance sports and the mistakes and all the learnings that I make throughout the way so that hopefully you can learn something from it as well. I am no extreme athlete. I'm just your average middle pack athlete with a regular nine to five job, just trying to share with you the way things are going and now I'm rambling so let's move on putting 2023 season behind there's after reflecting and you heard the intro so far my thoughts but there's three things that I really want to focus on for going into 2024 and that is of course also besides the mindset that you know I can't always get faster or better there might be bad races but here are the three things that I really want to focus on with my training over the next year the first thing being nutrition. It is so bad, I'm, I'm so bad with it. And for next year, I really wanna focus on it. I wanna go back to the things that I know that worked. The second thing is I gotta practice hydration and I gotta practice nutrition on my training rides and runs. Something I haven't done at all this season. I haven't really fueled for these long bikes or long runs, or if I did fuel, then severely under my targeted carbohydrates per hour. The second thing that I want to focus on, and that is probably, well, besides nutrition, the main like thing that I didn't do fully right this year is in training, have the easy days be very easy and have the hard days be very hard. I have to be honest, reflecting back, my hard days, they were hard. There were some challenging workouts, but I've never thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to finish that workout or wow, this is very, very difficult. I'm just trying to hold on for dear life. I've never pushed, pushed myself in these really hard workouts, but also on the workouts that were supposed to be very easy, I always went too hard. After easy workouts, I was fatigued. I was tired. I didn't recover properly, but I also just didn't go easy enough. So for next year, I want to really focus on the extremes, have the easy stuff very easy and have the hard stuff be very hard. And the last thing is I want to bring strength training more back into my routine. And I know that there is specific strength training that you can do as a triathlete or as a runner. And it's also included in the My Motive app. Of course, it has all the strength training that you need in it as well. But I want to bring also my own strength training routine into it. I really enjoyed strength training. That's what I did in college. I just like being at the gym. I like moving some iron around. I'm not very big. I'm not very strong, but I just really like the atmosphere of the gym. So because that's something I enjoy, that is something I want to bring back. This is not a hybrid athlete kind of stuff. I just enjoy being there and I want to incorporate it. And it might not help me at all for triathlon. It might slow me down but I just want to have it as a mental reset so that I can really focus on my heart workouts in triathlon. And that is really it. Those are the three main things that I'm focusing on for next year. So hopefully when I come back to this video next year to recap 2024, I will have improved on those things. But that is it with the video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. If you're still here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I highly appreciate it. 
and what are your goals for 2024? I'd be curious to know. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.